while you're asleep, out with friends, on a date, or even while you're on the toilet. So today, I'll be talking about the top 10 ways to make passive income online, so you can get paid again and again for work you only did once. Now if you came here to find out how to get rich quick fast, then this video is not for you. I'm not going to be one of those internet gurus that will sell you the idea that passive income means not having to work or get up early. Because in reality, it's going to be hard work, but in the end, it'll be worth it. Now passive income is nothing new. The top Fortune 500 companies in the world are making passive income right now. Even Elvis Presley, who's long gone, but his family is still making money today from his music. You just need to change the way to think about passive income so you don't think of it as a scam or a myth. But today, my goal is to simply help introduce a door that you may have not known existed. First is affiliate marketing. If you don't own your intellectual property, it's okay. You can do what's called affiliate marketing through Amazon, Bluehost, GoDaddy, and so many others. Now I know I'm shamelessly self-promoting, but if you want to learn how to create hypnotizing whiteboard animations like this, then you could use my affiliate link below. Now ethically, I personally believe you should only do affiliate marketing in products and services you believe in that creates win-win situations and preferably things you personally already use. Like I'm sorry for all the hard-working taxi drivers out there, but one of my favorite apps is Uber. And if you sign up with my code, you end up with a free ride up to $15 on your first use. By just occasionally tweeting my code, this has now allowed me the past few months to navigate around my city almost for free. But affiliate marketing is something anyone can start taking advantage of. Lastly, I put Amazon links all over the web, and what I really love about them is that they pay me commission even if the customer bought a frying pan or something completely different. Amazon is just happy that I brought someone to their site and got them a customer. The second way to make passive income is by making your own product, like writing a book. Or perhaps you're great at making music using GarageBand or FL Studio. You can sell books, music, videos, and apps on places like Amazon, iTunes, Google Play, and the App Store. The third way is by selling your licensing rights. The person who wrote The Martian put his book online on his website for free because no company would publish it. But his fans demanded he put his book on Kindle, and what happened is that more people bought the book on Amazon than simply getting the free one. It became an instant Amazon bestseller. Then all the companies that mocked him came crawling back, offered him a deal, and that's how the book came out to print. But then later, he sold the licensing rights to make the movie. Number four is selling stock resources like video, audio, and photos. Marketers buy stock resources all the time. Like I am no artist. Yes, I'm slowly getting better using Adobe Illustrator, but I can barely draw a stick figure in real life. So I sometimes buy stock images online for these animations. Marketers could buy stock images for print ads, their websites, banners, or billboards. Marketers are always looking to find stock resources that are royalty free. You can even sell banner ad templates, website templates, or even landscapes if you're a photographer. You can put stock resources on iStock, Graphic River, or Audio Jungle, just to name a few. Number five is through online advertising like Google AdSense pay per click. Now you'll only make pennies through each click, but if you have enough content in many places, it'll all add up. This is really great if you have a blog and if you combine it with affiliate marketing banner ads. The sixth way is through direct video marketing. You can make videos, then upload them to Dailymotion or Vimeo, which have paid on demand. You can also use sites like Udemy and make online courses and teach about almost anything you're an expert in. Then of course, there's YouTube, which is connected to Google AdSense. And if you have a message to share to the world, then consider becoming a YouTuber. Believe me, it's not too late to start. The seventh way to make passive income is through sponsored content. There's people who will pay you in terms of how many views or downloads that you get for your content, whether that's a video, blog post, or podcast. There's also people who would rather pay you just a flat rate. This is similar to affiliate marketing, but instead of going to the market, you have a direct deal. The commission on this could be much higher than affiliate marketing, which is usually only from 4 to 10%. Next is through joint venture partnership. If someone is launching an online course and you're a JV, you can sell on their behalf and they can give you up to 20 to 50%. Now why would they give you this much? Well, it's much harder to sell than what people think. I would rather have four people selling for me and getting 50% than me working alone and keeping 100. You can do a quick Google search on who's looking for JV partners. A ninth way of making money online is through network marketing. 
I've done this in the past and it's actually how I got introduced to reading books, sales, and self-help. My parents were fortunate enough to be successful in it and I learned a lot of valuable skills to add to my toolbox in my three years in the business. And I even had a chance to meet and learn from Tony Robbins, Darren Hardy, Donald Trump, and Robert Kiyosaki. But with that said, it's definitely not for everyone. And I highly suggest that you do a lot of research before joining one and really take the time to understand the compensation plan, like how exactly you would earn money as well as the products and services you'll be selling. There are a lot of scams out there. Lastly is through Patreon. If you have a fan base of any kind, then you can ask them to support you monthly or per creation you do and give different levels of rewards depending on how much they pledge. I would suggest you go per creation rather than monthly as it will motivate you to work harder and your fans really don't deserve to be paying you monthly if you're just being lazy. They also have the option to set a budget so they won't ever have to pay more than